My name is Andrew Westmoreland, I'm from Union University, and today is welcome to our signing day. Man, that was yesterday's news. My name is Matthew Westmoreland, I'm from Millington Central High School. Today is a signing day for me, and I'm next stop, Union. Whoa, 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 whoa. They think just because they've been to the state seven times in their career, they get to do this intro. No, it belongs to Thomas Sellers Jr. of West Ham Media. Welcome to signing day coverage where we're going to let you see who's going to the next level and how they secure it. Welcome. Coaches that all had part of it making him get here to where he's at today uh, on the far. Everybody knows Coach West, Booster Club president, but what people don't know, he was one of Dylan's first coaches when he was in T-ball. Help give him a fat lip and knock a teeth out. Once or twice. Once or twice. No. I got you, man. <laughs> Next to him is Coach Jeff Sawyer. Um, although he didn't coach Dylan, he did coach Ty. But his son Jacob played for Munford High School, went to Freed Hardman, and Coach Jeff's been a big part of getting Dylan into Freed Hardman. Then we have Coach Dale from Memphis Tigers 18U. He told Dylan last year that if he wasn't committed by summer to come play for him, he'd get him committed. And within one day, we were in contact with Freed Hardman. Then the three behind me, Coach Pete Smith, Coach Jody Hosley, and Coach Kirk Carraway. There's his coaches from 12 and 13 Tigers. They came into Dylan's life at the time that he really needed it. And they taught him more about being a person, a good teammate, and a young man than they did baseball all through the Lord. And that's what Dylan needed at the time. And he remembers, he still wears a cross with the prayer that they do after every game on the cross. So that's all of his coaches that he invited today to be here as part of the signing. And of course his team, because without the team, he's not the catcher or player that he is. But go Munford. And as Coach Yunt said, don't lose it up here, Boz, you too. We still got a job to do this year, and then he's going to take all of you. Kill him. I guess you need to talk to me now. Yeah, we can talk about you going to free hard. Wait, wait a minute. We're not on the map. Oh, okay. The catchers. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, I guess everybody knows you're a catcher. You're going to Free Harbor University. Well, congratulations, Thank Dylan. You. And we we'll got you here. To the point where I'm at right now is just the support from the coaching staff throughout the years, my family, my friends. Um, I'm trusting the Lord, putting him in the shoes I am right now. Um, he's got me to where I am, and I just all the glory to God. Wow. Solid foundation there. Going to Free Harbor, you got to be a good student, a good person. It helps to be a pretty good athlete. Let's start with the person. Mom and Dad, how did they build you and build that character to you? Talk about Mr. Williams. Um, so my parent, my dad actually was in the Navy. So we had a military background. <laughs> so they were very strict on me, always having me use my manners and that just helped me mature faster into the man I am. And because of that, I was able to just grow connections to other people that other people wouldn't be able to. And that's what helped me grow into the Mom grew up in the church. So yeah, she, she, was, had that. she was a very, my mom's side of the family was very religious, very Christian. God even threw you a bonus in there, brother Ty. He loves the game of baseball. And I heard about a three-year-old soccer player that told their coach, I'm only here because I have to wait a year before I can play baseball. Yeah. So you knew you were going to go to the game following Big Brothers first. I did. So what the, actually the weekend I was born, my brother had the All-Star Games. And uh, when I was three, I was the goalie for a soccer team. I didn't want to run. I was just sitting there. And then uh, I was talking to my coach. He was like, why are you not going anywhere? I was like, I'm only here because I'm not going to play baseball. <laughs> and so the next year I went and played baseball. Wow, and it's been your game ever since? It's been my game ever since. Wow, so okay, so we, we got to be a good student. Talk about, I guess, the emphasis on academic. You play for Coach Young, you're going to have to take care of the classroom before you be out there on the field. So talk about how Mumford High School is going to be. Uh, the, the support staff, like the administration, the teachers, all that, they're really good. Um, they prepared me for the next level. I'm, I'm at the point where I'm taking college classes already. Wow. So, like, they just helped me, like, get my mind to the right point where I need to be. You have to be pretty smart and have a sharp mind to play catcher at any level because you're the stitching of the coach out there. Coach Allen said he trusts you out there. I remember, I thought there was a senior that I was watching out there two years ago at Millington mm -hmm. to clinch that birth to state, but it's only a sophomore. Talk about, I guess, your mind controlling the game for the Cougars and helping the team have success last couple years. Um, 
It started my freshman year when we went to districts. I didn't play, but just being in the environment, being with the team, it really helped me realize, like, hey, I need to step it up. And then sophomore year, I became the starter. And just from then on, I've been growing ever since. Coach Young's been putting a lot of faith in me, and it really means a lot. It's helped me grow. The coaching staff here at is great. I guess the best I've seen. You had some pretty good arms on that mound over the years. A couple going out to the D1 level himself. You have to deal with Coach Perry out there. So I know he's a fun guy, but he's very he can, he can be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's going to get the best out of his players as well. Talk about, I guess, working with your staff, your coaches, the pitching group here at Monk. Oh, it's very important to us. Um, every practice it consists of pitching, catching, and like first base or second base. Like working on pickoffs, working on where to go, what plays to do. And it's always run through the catcher. The catcher has to know every pitcher and what their tendencies are, just how to help them. And I've grown to know that with every one of my pitchers. Are you the smartest man on the field? Oh, for sure. Oh, wow. He said that with no hesitation <laughs> right there. Okay, okay. Well, I guess my last question for you, Free Harvard. Like I said, it takes a lot to get to Free Harvard University. So is it your perfect landing spot? Yes, sir. Um, I went on my visit, and even the Coach Walls, the catching coach and the career coordinator there, he talked to me, he was like, you're going to leave here, and you're going to know if it's the right place or if it's the wrong place, just from being on this. And I knew as soon as I got there, I was like, this is where I want to go. Wow, it's a nice way to go out there at the, in your career in the Murphy's Girl with the Cougar. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just hope I just spoke something to existence. Didn't have to cover our mouths for that. No. But appreciate it, Dylan, and hey, congratulations to another free heart. Thank you.